Uh, Senator Mark Kirk with us here on the telephone. It's Riley and Scott here on WROK. Senator, big day as Mitch McConnell is now the uh, the speaker, or the, not the speaker, but uh, the Senate Majority Leader. That's in right. 2015. Uh, we uh, had an election. Uh, the, the American people uh, put a more fiscally responsible uh, Republican uh, leadership in charge of the U.S. Senate. Really looking forward to getting back to work with this new majority. Our first thing up will be to approve the Keystone uh, XL pipeline to make sure we have more North American energy uh, for our country which is uh, important for uh, national security reasons and economic reasons. A lot of people have missed the fact that Keystone is a pipeline that uh, brings uh, crude from uh, Canada, and it finishes in Illinois. It's a pretty uh, pro-jobs provision for Illinois, because uh, a lot of people have forgotten about this uh, Patoka, Illinois terminal that we're going to have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, if I heard the news correctly, Senator, the president already today has threatened to veto that legislation if it gets to his desk. Does that surprise you? He, uh, as uh, my best friend in the Senate, uh, Democrat uh, Senator Joe Manchin from West Virginia, said it was a sad way to begin the Congress automatically with a veto threat from the president uh, picking uh, partisan politics something that uh, large numbers of uh, Republicans and Democrats support building this pipeline. Senator Mark Kirk with us here. It's Riley and Scott on WROK. You mentioned your your friend Joe Manchin, who is a yeah. more centrist Democrat, and Republicans will need some help to get to the 60-vote threshold they need at times. Who are some other Democrats that you think might be willing to work with a Republican majority in the Senate this coming year? The uh, the uh, key issue that I'm working on is uh, more sanctions on the Islamic Republic of Iran to stop their uh, nuclear weapons program. I've got uh, 17 Democrats with me, including leading lights like uh, Chuck Schumer and uh, Bob Menendez, to uh, get that through to make sure we have a much stronger voice to stop that nuclear weapons program for a country that has already been a certified uh, state sponsor of terror for uh, several decades. Now, Senator, uh, you mentioned the Keystone Pipeline is up first, and, and these Iran sanctions, I know, are very close to, to you and, and your priorities. What other things would you like to see the Senate get to work on quickly here in the new year? Well, uh, what I'm working on, I'm uh, working on new legislation to uh, allow each new parent in the country to start a, a 401 kids account. Uh, tax deferred savings from the day, day your son or daughter is uh, born to make sure we have a nest egg uh, for a college or a first-time home purchase or to start a business. want to make sure that uh, the uh, pedagogical uh, value of this is really high. Uh, when you get a statement back with uh, your daughter's name, let's say her name is Robin Kirk, mm-hmm. uh, when you can say, uh, okay, Robin, you sit down with her, this is how much we had in stocks and bonds, and the number went up. You've then uh, really inculcated... Uh, uh, the uh, savings and investment uh, habits that she will need for a successful life as an investor. U.S. Senator Mark Kirk with us here from Illinois, of course. It's Riley and Scott here on WROK. One, uh, one thing, uh, Scott, uh, sure. one thing that I'll be uh, proposing just for uh, Rockford alone, I will be going to the mayor uh, to propose a change to the uh, uh, seal of Rockford to put an outline of the uh, 787 aircraft in the uh, seal of uh, Rockford to remind us all that we are a a tremendous aerospace giant and all the jobs and the money that we make off the aerospace industry in Rockford. I want us to uh, make sure that we brand ourselves as a way as winners in that uh, 21st century industry. And we really uh, put forward the name of Rockford as an aerospace giant especially after what is happening at the airport with the uh, Mm -hmm. MPO effort. Make sure that people more and more always think of uh, aerospace and Rockford in the same breath. I've heard you mention that idea. I think it's a wonderful idea. Is is that uh, the piece of information, the aerospace industry here in Rockford, even making uh, the news and making noise out in D.C. as well? We want to make sure, you know, D.C. is always uh, the federal government being always the primary purchaser of uh, aerospace uh, goods given the Air Force and DOD in, in its leading role at NASA. U.S. Senator Mark Kirk with us here. It's Riley and Scott on WROK. Um, how about tax reform? I've heard a lot of talk about putting some sort of corporate tax, perhaps uh, uh, personal tax reform, income tax reform on the table, too, in 2015. 
the tax reform that I think we really need to do is uh, to lower the corporate tax rate so that we uh, don't have the highest uh, tax rates in the world. If we uh, bring the rate down, we will end the incentive for companies to, quote, invert, where their ownership becomes foreign. I, I think we really need to get to that and make sure that for companies like Walgreens, mm -hmm. there's uh, going to be no need to ever think about uh, uh, shifting their official headquarters to another country. Well, we're talking taxes quickly, Senator. Uh, uh, you know, gas prices, gasoline prices are, are low right now. It's about $2 a gallon here in Rockford, which we haven't seen in a long, long time. And there are some who are saying now is that the right time they want to increase the gasoline tax nationally. Do you think that goes anywhere in D.C. in 2015? I uh, am not for raising the gasoline tax. I think that's a tremendous tax on the working families of the country. That if you hit them uh, right at the gas pump, that uh, you'll get, you'll possibly uh, trigger a deepening of the uh, recession that we've had enough of. And Senator, as you, we look toward uh, 2016, even toward the end of 2015, as a new budget's being written, this is going to be perhaps unusual in the past decade or so, where there's actually going to be, we, we think, at least a regular budget process going on, not these continuing resolutions or anything like that. There could be real budget procedures being uh, taking place right. in the Senate this year, right? Right. Uh, we're going to need to put an end to these big bills that nobody reads and uh, have them uh, open for uh, public scrut scrutiny much longer so that everybody can see all the shenanigans that Congress has long time put in these bills. I would hope that we also have uh, more time to read the big bills. Uh, my experience has been uh, the smaller the bill, the less expensive U.S. Senator Mark Kirk with us here, Riley and Scott on WROK. And Senator, before we let you go, I know that you've said this over and over again, and yet you still get asked the question, and yeah, I'm going to ask you again, but just so you can tell our listeners, 2016, there is absolutely no doubt Mark Kirk is running for re-election to the U.S. Senate, correct? Correct. I would not have gone through all this uh, rehab from my stroke to uh, just give up. I'm never going to give up. Just going to go uh, in the... Uh the service to the state of Illinois has been the uh, central motivating part of my life, that I get up every morning uh, to uh, serve this state and make sure that uh, we uh, take our rightful place in the center of the U.S. economy like we should. Well, U.S. Senator Mark Kirk, we appreciate your time this morning. Uh, best of luck in the new Republican majority in the Senate, and we absolutely look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you, Scott.